In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Notion for studying and how I manage my tasks and assignments for university. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. A quick disclaimer before I get into this, I've actually almost graduated university, so this is something that I was using last academic year. This is a duplication of my main dashboard, and I use emojis to bounce around my space because that's just my preference. So if we click on my tasks dashboard, this is a dashboard inside of my main dashboard, but this is where I can see tasks I need to do, tasks that are due for tomorrow, and tasks that are due next week. So if I go into the database, you can see it's the task database all the way along. These are filtered for the specific things that I want them filtered for. Obviously, you can change the filters, but for me, this is what helped me out to work out what I needed to do, when and where. As I scroll down, you can see a calendar view of the same database. So we've actually got the task database viewed in four different ways. And in the calendar view, you can see as we move the task across, the task moves into those different views at the top. So if we drag it down, you can see it's still within the next week, so we're all good. But as we move it one day further, it's actually outside of next week, so it's not showing, but I can see it on my calendar view. Then if I drag it back to today, it will be in today's tasks. Now I can add a task in any of these views and it will go all the way across. So if we add task two, you can see I can add an assignment if I want to, and then I have the tick box for when I've done the task. But as I've added this task in for tomorrow, it's gonna to show up in tomorrow's view. Now when I go back to my main student workspace dashboard, I can see all of those tasks. Now I do have one task that was on a month beforehand, which is why there's two task twos there. And then as I do the task, I can tick them off and then they will disappear from that view. When I move over, you can see upcoming lectures, and I was using this for basically keeping track of all the lectures I had. And I think that's classes for those of you that are in America, but essentially these are different things where I turn up and I take notes. And these lectures are related to topics. But again, I have a dashboard for lectures to make sure all of my lectures are sorted out. So as I go in, I still have those three different views, today, tomorrow, and within the next week. And then I have that calendar view down the bottom. And the same thing works as I drag those lectures across, the lectures will move in those list views, whether it's today, tomorrow, or within the next week. Some days were really busy and I'd have four or five lectures on one day, other days would be completely empty. But whenever I go into the lecture, you can see I have the related topic. I have related flashcards because I use flashcards for memory or notes or anything like that. And then I have other information that I need for the lecture. Now I said lectures are related to topics. Now in my specific case, these were actually modules. I believe in America they're called something else, but I'm not sure. But essentially the topic is the area of study. So you can see I have all of the lectures related to this topic, module, whatever you call it. And then I have the assignment. So some modules I would have one or two assignments. So I would create the assignment and then put it with the topic. And then I would have all of the different lectures throughout the year related to the topic. Then when I go into the topic dashboard, all of the databases are filtered for the topic. So you can see I have my lectures database filtered for topic, the flashcards database filtered for topic, and then I have a calendar view again, and that's just all of the lectures because whenever I was going into the topic, I actually wanted to see all the other lectures that were going on as well. But again, that's just personal preference. If I go to the top of the topic, I can see the essay, the assignment, whatever it needs to be, and I can see the information I would need to add for the essay or assignment. Normally, I would actually embed my syllabus in there, so a PDF version of my syllabus, either in my topics dashboard or in the essays dashboard. And the reason it's useful having that assignment linked to my topic is because when I go into my lectures database, I can have a roll up of the assignment. So if I relate the lecture to the topic, I can roll up the assignment that is needed. So if I'm in the lecture, I can see what the assignment is and when it's due. Now for me, when I was learning information or taking notes or anything like that, I would have the main notes in my lecture, but when I have flashcards such as questions, dates, references, or anything like that, I would have the flashcards inside the lecture and that would go into my flashcards database. So you can see I have the topic roll up, the lecture relation, the review date, the showing, the date wrong, and the stage. Now, this is a whole system that I've personally created. I do have a video going over how to create this. 
but essentially it's space repetition and active recall put together is like Anki inside of Notion. Let's take an example and I'm in a lecture, I'm in lecture one, and I have loads and loads of notes. If I want to create a flashcard, I can drag that note into the flashcards database. Now for this example, I don't have anything else in the column, so it's actually gonna get rid of the column, but normally that column would just stay the same. Now because I'm in this flashcard, it's already related to the lecture. So I personally have a load of templates for the different modules, different lectures, to basically create different decks of cards. Then once I've asked the question and I have the answer of the question in the flashcard, I then put the date wrong, which would normally be the date that I've created the card. And then that card is set and I don't really have to do anything about it. Then when the card is due, it will appear on my dashboard. So I know I need to review that card. I will review the card if I get it right. I'll put it to stage two. If I get it wrong, then I'll review it later on in the day. Then when I get it right, it won't show and that will be stored in the database for as long as I have it. Now each of those dashboards are actually pages in their own right and I have them hidden in a toggle just to the side, but like I say, I personally like using the emojis to navigate around my space, that's just personal preference. You could have those pages displayed as you want, but again, you can design Notion exactly how you want, whatever way you want, it's up to you. If you want to buy this exact template, there's a link in the description below that will take you to my page and you can find the template there. But until then, if you're interested to learn more about Notion, check out this video over here and I'll see you there.